When I tried the Elan for the first time, it was really a revelation because I'm used to rigid ankles and suddenly there was this fluid ankle and I could move my knee and then the ankle would respond to my knee moving. I would then walk and it was a much softer, more natural feeling. When I first started wearing the Elan, it felt completely different to the foot I had on before. I suddenly had a lot more movement. The hydraulic ankle makes it a lot easier. With going downhill, it slows me down, it helps with my braking, so I'm not losing control as I'm walking down hills and I can walk at the speed I want to walk at. And going uphill as well, the ankle makes walking uphill a lot easier, it helps propel me up and makes it a lot less effort. Because you have that fluidity of movement when you're going down and also when you're going up, plus the boost that you get from the um, ankle being stiff when you're going up and looser when you're going down, it's a much more natural movement. I don't have to do that mental preparation anymore. It's just there's a slope, I know that my ankle can accommodate it, and you just keep going. Endolite hydraulic ankles adapt to different terrain on the first step. When walking downhill, the heel softens, allowing the foot to fully contact the slope sooner for improved safety and security. At the same time, an increased braking effect stabilises the user for a more controlled descent and it does that by controlling the tibial progression the way the knee moves forward over the foot. When walking fast or up slopes, the heel stiffens, allowing for a more optimal energy storage and return. This aids forward momentum and reduces the effort needed to walk faster or uphill. During swing phase, that's the time when the foot is not in contact with the ground. The ankle remains in a toe-up position, which gives increased toe clearance on every step. It means that they're less likely to trip or stumble or fall. When a land senses the user is stationary, the ankle increases the resistance for greater standing stability. While maintaining the self-alignment, that allows for the more natural posture and even body weight distribution across both limbs. This high resistance, it doesn't actually lock the ankle, it does allow the person to move gently forwards and backwards using the viscoelastic nature of the ankle. The standing mode is really useful when you've been walking and then you come to a standstill, um, I can put my leg out and the toe goes down. It just is a much more comfortable, stable feeling. Being young, I'm quite concerned about my joints for the future and I know the stress that wearing a prosthetic leg puts on them and I'm really keen to protect them, my knee and my hip and my other leg and really look after that because I've got problems with my other leg too. So wearing the Elan takes a lot of the stress off my other joints. Now that I've got the Elan I have to think a lot less about walking, it comes much more naturally. Um, my gait's much smoother and yeah, I really don't have to think about what I'm doing with my foot. I can go up and down steps and off curbs and things and it's really not an issue. I don't have to worry about where my foot is. It's just very natural. I feel like I've got a foot that has normal movement really. It's sort of the mindset has changed as well as the physical movement, which is a great relief. Knowing that I can do these things more easily without having to think about them actually feeds back, makes me more confident, makes me try new things, things that I wouldn't have tried before. It just makes you feel good about yourself and that you're, you're confident and able to do things, not, you know, not somebody with a disability. I don't feel somebody who has a disability. I feel able, fully able.